this race that started with controversy is ending with controversy. No, Mikey, no, no, Mikey, that was so not right. Well, if we thought Abu Dhabi 2021 was a shocker. Then it will be a double shocker, Lewis Hamilton leaving Mercedes to Ferrari. Ferrari are set to launch the 2024 Championship Challenger on February 13th, the Scuderia Ferrari 24 and in short, the SF24, 24 being the current year it's competing in. Mark Jean Ferrari brand ambassador and former test driver believes the Maranello-based team has a title challenger in the SF24. Last season the SF23 struggled with lots of issues. High degradation, which forced the team to change from the best tire strategy to a strategy of just managing tire deg to complete races. Ferrari struggled to find the right balance of the SF23, many analysts speculate it had to do with the floor not generating enough downforce due to various factors at play. To combat porpoising the SF23 was raised which impacted the ability of the floor to remain airtight leading to pressure leakages. The stiff suspension that was adopted as a second measure to also combat porpoising resulted in terrible handling over curbs and bumps and also the stiff suspension limited the vertical movement of the SF23 which contributed to the inefficient sealing of the floor. Ground effect cars need a considerable airtight seal between the floor and the track surface to provide the downforce needed by F1 cars to go faster around the track. In ground effect cars the ride height is so important, the lower you go to the ground the faster you go around the track and the RB19 was 10mm lower than everyone else but not in Singapore. The Singapore racetrack is bumpy with high curbs, so all teams had similar ride heights in Singapore that night. And we all know the result. Red Bull with the RB19 at the same ride height with the competition were nowhere to be seen. According to Ferrari's head of chassis, Enrico Cardiel said they needed to develop a brand new car, a different chassis with different design and a different rear end. Former Ferrari test driver Mark Jean is confident that the SF24 has everything the SF23 lacked to challenge for a title but all that is in simulator testing. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more all-around sports analysis.